Hi everyone, it's Carol from Discover Interior Design and I'm so glad you're here. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the design of this living room and providing some insights on what's working really well and then also some suggestions on what we can do to improve the room, including rearranging the furniture. So let's get started. So first thing, let's just take a look at what's working really well in this room. What I notice is that it's a nice light and bright room, you know, and that could be because, you know, the walls and the ceiling are painted white. And so that helps to lighten and brighten a room because a lot of light is reflected off of the color white. Plus it has two sets of French doors and those doors have windows in them. And so it's letting in a lot of natural light. And then I really like that there is an eclectic grouping or collection of furniture and accessories and art. And so that, you know, makes the room already kind of interesting. And then it has a beautiful wood floor. And then we also have like a nice fireplace at one end. And even that sliding door kind of adds a neat character to the room. So when I was deciding what would be helpful to improve this room, there was one main thing that um, I noticed right away that needed to change. And that was how that seating arrangement needed to be kind of reconfigured. Because what's happening right now is that there's a walkway down the center of that whole seating arrangement. So if you're sitting on the chair on the left side and then someone else is sitting at the sofa, and someone walks in the room and they walk right down the center of that whole area. I mean, that would be very distracting. So I just want to bring that whole seating arrangement together into one focal area that's not interrupted with a walkway. So here is the floor plan that I came up with for this room. And I don't know the actual dimensions of this room and exactly what's happening on, you know, all of the areas in the room. But what I did is I went by, you know, standard sizes of French doors since there are two sets of French doors and then, you know, worked out some other elements in the rooms so that everything relates to one another in the room. So this is what I came up with. So before I started, I wanted to designate one side of the room or the other side of the room as the main entrance and exit from that room. And so to have one group, one set of French doors that will be the main doors, but then the other French doors will just be uh, used just almost like uh, just windows. And so I actually came up with two different versions so that we could have the main door open on the left side or the main door open on the right side. So let's take a look at where I placed the main door opening on the left side. So with the door opening out into the room on the left side, that creates a nice opportunity to create a walkway as someone comes into the room to walk through the room and around over to the fireplace and then, you know, go into the other area of the home. And I kept that sofa on that longer wall. It makes sense with that longer wall. And because the room is longer, there's more space to kind of spread out, you know, on the long way of that room rather than placing the sofa perpendicular to that long wall where the door opening is. And so what I did though to create a cohesive look and to create you know a nice little furniture arrangement is I actually brought in an area rug and an area rug is a great way to make a space, make a furniture arrangement area and it kind of adds emphasis to that area and especially when you have you know a floor that has wood floors or tile something that's in that whole entire area it helps to kind of break up that space a little bit and that's what i wanted to do i wanted to create a nice cohesive seating area and so that area rug helps me do that and so i placed the area of a rug centered on that wall where that 
you know, door opening is. And then the uh, sofa is centered on that. And then I brought in another chair and also a larger coffee table. And then I moved that one neat little cabinet with the painted decorative motif on it to the other side and actually rotated it so we can see, you know, that neat cabinet feature. And then added another uh, side table on the other side. But I didn't want it to be uh, all the same. So I wanted to bring in another shape. So I actually just used one of the round tables that was already there and then placed a lamp on that table. So when you walk in this room, you can see that nice furniture arrangement and nice seating area. And you're not going to be walking down the center of it. You know, there is space on the other side of the area rug to that opposite wall for people to move in and out of that area. And then on the opposite wall, I actually moved one of those cute cabinets that's next to the fireplace and moved that to that opposite wall. And, you know, we could do a couple different things with that. We could create a nice gallery wall with some nice artwork and a lamp, or we could even place a TV over there. And then as you move down the room towards the fireplace to the right, I placed a little bench in front of that window and a plant next to it. So, you know, a little extra seating area it might be nice to sit there and, you know, look outside or even sit near the fireplace and to warm up a little bit. At the fireplace wall, I'd like to install some wood floating shelves. And so they would be made out of the same wood as the mantle. And so just to create kind of a symmetrical layout for that whole fireplace wall. And then you can come back in and add any decorative objects on those shelves to kind of finish that look. And then if we start back up at the left corner again, where the door opens, at that one wall to the left of the door, I don't know what's on that side of the room, but what I decided to do is to put in some sort of freestanding cabinet or some sort of shelving over there that will be nice, again, to add books and accessories, artwork, and maybe even some lighting. And then in this arrangement where the main doorway is on the right side of the room, you know, the right French doors will be the main entry and exit to this room. And that'll be good because you can walk right in and if you need to get to the other side of the house, it's super easy and you can walk right straight out to the other part of the home. And basically for this room, it's basically the same layout as the previous design. But what I added to this one was a nice little reading nook area. So a nice comfy armchair with a little side table and a little reading lamp where you could sit and read and also, you know, enjoy the view outside. And then to really emphasize that seating area in the room, I wanted to paint that wall, that back wall where the sofa is, a different color. So I went to the color wheel and I wanted to use something as an accent color. So something a little bit opposite than what's happening in there. You know, I noticed there's a lot of nice orange and golden tones and warm, tones going on in that room. And I wanted to also bring in another accent color, but something that's on the cooler side and something that's kind of opposite that. So I chose a blue, but I didn't want to choose like a cool blue. I wanted to choose actually something that kind of kept it on that warmer side, but I chose this nice, warm, soft blue. And just imagining that on that back wall where the sofa is, that will really grab our attention when we walk in the room. We'll really notice that area, you know, that seating area and then that nice blue wall. And it'll really create like a nice 
cozy focal point of that room. And to tie everything together, I want to repeat that color in the room. So I want to bring in some of that warm blue in the area rug, maybe even in some throw pillows, and even on the window coverings. Right now, those draperies that are on the wall on the left side of the room have this nice you know, geometric pattern going on in them. But I wanted to repeat that blue on the other side on those draperies. And so I would like to replace those draperies with this fabric where it brings in that blue, but also brings in kind of a fun pattern. And then I'd like to repeat that color in other areas of the room. Maybe that means, you know, imagining the armchair that's in the corner um, for the reading nook has that color to it, or maybe the bench does or maybe even one of the chairs that's on the area rug has kind of a blue tone to it. So just to kind of repeat that color throughout the room will help tie everything together, but also add variety. And then just to bring everything together a little bit more, I'd like to paint those white walls in a creamy color, just something a little bit softer and warmer, and then change out the artwork that's above the sofa to something else that will fill up that space a little bit better. And then also change out the door handle finish to something that has a warmer finish and tone to it. So overall, I suggest just creating a nicer furniture arrangement where everything is cohesive and tied in together and that it's not going to be interrupted by a walkway. And then just bringing in another color to this room I think will add variety, but also by repeating it throughout the room, help create a cohesive look to this space. So now it's your turn. What would you do to improve the look and feel of this room? In design, there's always all of these options and directions to go. So share your design ideas and suggestions in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.